What is up, So Hills kids? We are back. It's June. We're on week three. I am so excited to be here with you guys today, and I hope you're excited too. Don't forget, we're doing a new format, which is a little more condensed and shortened down to make sure that you get all of the great stuff you need each day. So give it a watch and let us know what you think. So first, of course, we're jumping into a game. We've done some exploding snow coats. Let's do a round two. See what you guys do. See how you do on these. Well. Exploding snow cones. I'll see you guys after that. So today we're jumping into a great verse. We're going to be in Ephesians chapter 6, guys, okay? You might know where this is going if you've memorized some of the scripture. And we're going to be talking about the armor of God. You see, we want to be prepared, right? No matter what we're doing, whether we're, say, going on vacation, uh, getting ready for sports or school, right? If we're getting ready for school, we're going to go make sure we've got pencils and pens, we've got erasers, notebooks, all of the stuff that we need. The same is true for our faith. If we want to be prepared for whatever the world throws at us, good days or bad days, we have to make sure that we are putting on the armor of God. Now, what's this armor, you may be asking? Well, let's take a look. We're in Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to start in verse 10. So let's take a look. So it says, a final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. That's a pretty good start, if I'm being honest. If we're talking about being prepared, prepared for things that happen in our lives, whether good or bad, being strong in the Lord is a great start. So let's check out verse 11. It says, put on all the armor of God so that you might be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. So here's the thing. As a Christian, following God, there's going to be times where the world and Satan and even ourselves test us. We make choices that don't go well. Things happen in our lives that just don't seem fair. And if we're not prepared, if we haven't put on the armor of God, we haven't done what we needed, well, we might get taken off guard. 
We might end up falling or stumbling. And of course, Jesus is always there to pick us back up. But if we're prepared, we can keep pushing through. Okay, so Paul, who wrote this, uh, he actually wrote this in a prison. And he's probably thinking of the Roman uh, centurions, the Roman guards, even some of the people that may be right beside him guarding him. He's thinking of these people who are always ready, right? They're always in their armor with their weapons at their side. They're ready to go whenever they need so they're not caught off guard. And Paul is, is, is reminiscing on these people who may even be guarding him at that time. It says, verse 12 says, For we're not fighting against the flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against the mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits within the heavenly places. So there's a lot of things that can go on in our lives. A lot of different events can happen. Uh, things can turn sour. We can have bad days. And Paul is saying that there's a lot for us to go against. So let's take a look over here at verse 13 and see what we have to do. Therefore, put on every piece of armor, uh, every piece of God's armor, so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. So he gives us two pieces already, okay? The belt of truth, right? Now, if you think about it, what does a belt do? A belt holds up your pants, right? It holds up whatever it's around. It doesn't have to be around your pants, but it holds up whatever. So Paul is saying, hold yourself up, keep yourself together with truth, and then protect yourself, right? Protect your body with God's righteousness. So we need to make sure that we have truth in our life, like listening to this video, coming to Sunday school, or listening to good music. Right? And then we need to make sure that we have the righteousness of God protecting us because, I mean, we're not, we're not great against some crazy powers that are in this world, but God is. So we have all of that, and now let's jump into the next one. All right. Belt of truth, body armor of God. Uh, for shoes, put on peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Shoes. That's interesting. But think about it. He says shoes of peace, right? Wherever we go, wherever this goes, I go, right? The shoe is always with me no matter what. And so Paul says wherever you go, you should be walking with peace. You shouldn't be walking with anger. You shouldn't be walking with uh, frustration or whatever. He says walk with peace. Okay, moving on, it says, in addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. So faith is what we believe, right? It's how we believe, and it's who we believe, and it's why we believe. So having faith, right, trusting in God, having that as a shield against anything that comes our way, right? Because a shield protects us. It keeps things from getting to us. Alright? And so, when the world tries to get to us, when we have a bad day, when a parent is sick, when we don't do good on a test, when we are faithful in who God is, He will protect us. And then finally, it says, Put on the salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So, Put on salvation as a helmet. Protect your head, right? Your brain, right? Protecting over yourself. Put that on. And then the sword of the spirit. So at the end of the day, we have this armor, right? We have peace. We have righteousness. We have faith. We have all of these things. We're called to put these on each and every day. And each one serves a purpose, okay? So we're not literally going to wake up each morning and put on a helmet or a breastplate that says righteousness on it, right? But we are every day going to seek after those things. And when we seek after those things and when we go hard and let God, right, and his uh, faithfulness protect us uh, and his righteousness keep us safe and his peace go with us everywhere we go, then when we have bad days, when hard things happen, we are able to stand strong. 
Let's check out this first and we're gonna recap how. Hey you guys, it's Haley and I am back for the month of July with a brand new memory verse. So we're going to go ahead and teach you the brand new words and motions for this month. So let's jump on into it. First part is being confident of this. So we're gonna put our hands on our hips because we are very confident and then on the word this, we're going to give a big old head nod. So being confident of this, now we're on to part two. So part two is that he who began. We're just gonna point our fingers up to the sky and shake our fingers because we're pointing to Jesus Christ. So that he who began a good work in you. So for good work, we're gonna stack our fists on top of each other. And then on the word you, we're gonna point outward. So, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on. So we're gonna sling our backpacks over our shoulders and then we're gonna carry it on, okay? So, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on into completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So then we're just gonna take our hands and we're gonna lift them up to Jesus. So. Let's smush all the second part together. It's a little bit longer, so we can do it. That he who began a good work in you will carry it on into completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6. So now let's try to smush both of our part one, part two together. So part one is being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on into completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6. Great job, you guys. See you later. All right, guys. God calls us to stand strong. He calls us to stand firm on his foundation. He tells us when we put on this armor, right, when we daily seek after these things, he will protect us, protect us from the world, Protect us from the devil and his attacks, right? God is there and he wants to love you. So we need to make sure we're putting on these things. The, the shoes of peace, the breastplate of light righteousness, right? We need to put these things on and we need to be intentional, standing firm in who God is. So I've got a question for you guys, of course. And I would love for you guys to just think about this one. Maybe talk with your parents or your family, okay? The question is, when is it hard to stand strong? When is it hard to stand against the world? Is it when all your friends are doing something that you know they shouldn't? Is it when you get in trouble and you really want to be upset and frustrated about it? Is it when school is really stressful or sports are really hard and your team is losing? Whatever it is. Now, parents, I've got a challenge for you guys as well. I want you guys to talk to your kids. Talk with them about the times that you've had to stand firm, times that you've had to stand your ground, and times that maybe one of the pieces of armor from God has helped you. So, kids and parents, you guys talk together today. Figure that out and have a discussion. With that, I will see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys later. Bye.